All right, Howie, we had two games that went down to finish that Dallas uh, game against Detroit and the Atlanta one against Cincinnati. I want to go back to the Dallas game first because there were so many question marks about this offense, about Dak Prescott. I don't know if they answered him today, but they came through in the end because of Ezekiel, Ezekiel Elliott. Well, and that's the key. I, I think everything in that offense runs through Zeke. You know, 25 carries, 152 yards, four for 88 through the air, and, and the big catch on the final drive to set up the go-ahead score. And, and everything works better. The protection's better. Dak's better. Uh, the defense is better. He makes everyone better. He's a dominant player. Yeah, and if you look at it, what that does, he, he's had five games in a row. Five games in a row without passing over 200 yards. Today, Zico gets off. He goes over the 200-yard mark. Yeah. There's a formula for success out there in Dallas. Michael, let's get back to that Cincinnati-Atlanta contest. Oh, boy, I guess TB said he had to... You know, he, the young man, um, uh, Ezekiel, apologized for blowing in her face while well, I passed out. And Terry <laughs> came over and, and I faked brought you back. You fake giving me mouth to I mouth. It was a little too close for me. I felt, I felt the breath. But you know, and, because and, you took cool. Atlanta in the pregame show. I took Atlanta in the pregame show. I really pulled from, but I got to say, uh, for, for Cincinnati to go into Atlanta, play the way that they played, but it's an Atlanta team that you just don't know. You give you something, you get excited right. about them, and then next thing you know, the next week, you go right back to the bottom of the barrel. So I, I think for Atlanta, you know, watching these guys put up that many points and not being able to hold somebody off within that, within that time frame, if you put up 30-something points, you're supposed to win the game. It's but Atlanta's it's also defense. missing three of their guys in the secondary, yes. plus their leading tackler and linebacker. Is this the point where you start seeing the injuries catch yes. up to them? Yes, and I think it's a defense that is built to play with the lead, uh, built to to complement that offense. And that offense certainly has been dynamic, but it's not a defense that's built for it's, them. This is a game of scoring. We, we, yeah. we need to get used to that. Yeah. It's always going to be in the 40s, 40 this, 40 that. I mean, that's the way our league is designed now. And if you have, any, if you have a somewhat good defense, you might be able to go to the Super Bowl and win it. That's just the way this game is set and up. If you look at it now, even the Thursday night game with two great deep, Minnesota's defense, the Rams defense, yeah. a lot of points in these games. So these offenses are really, really playing well. One other big injury, though, in that game, that Tyler Eifert yeah. goes out for Cincinnati. They're Shame. big tight end. Yeah, and that Shame. looks like a definitely Coming back from injury. A season ender. Oh. You know, and that's a team, Tony, that maybe people need to start giving a little bit of love to, Cincinnati. They do. You know, we had, we, I was with you. We went out there during the preseason got to see him play up in Buffalo. And they looked really good, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Really offensively. Andy Dalton's a good quarterback. Yeah. I mean, and they got A.J. Green, one of the best in the business. You saw his play and the impact he had at the end of that game to win the game for them. Once Mixon gets healthy, he didn't play today, the running back. When he's running and those legs are churning, to go along with Andy Dalton and that offensive uh, uh, attack, they can win some games. They, 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 this is a good football team, and I think we have slept on them.